Mike here with my Befang 8 Fun uh, mid-drive e-bike kit. Um, got some problems here, as you might be able to tell. 2,000 miles on the uh, on the motor so far, and um, probably about 100 miles ago, I started to get some loud noise out of the motor. Um, initially, I just thought it was something in my drivetrain, neglected chain, and whatnot. But uh, no, no, it, it really seems like it's coming out of the motor. So I haven't been running it for the last week, and I finally got a chance to tear the thing down. A little bit involved to it, but uh, it's not too bad. Um, <clears throat> here you can see the uh, the final drive, the uh, the ratcheting mechanism for the crank and everything is is inside there, and I haven't actually opened that up. I'm pretty sure that's not where the noise is coming from. It's actually coming from the motor. Um, so this is uh, kind of a mid gear here that drives that. Um, here's the controller and everything. Uh, plug for the, uh, <clears throat> I think that's the Hall Effect sensor right there. And then uh, main power. So everything's distributed off of the, you know, there's a battery and the controller and everything. All the goodies are behind there. I've heard people having those fry on them, but I don't think I'm having that problem. So uh, when I opened everything up here, I expected, see here's the rotor. A bunch of permanent magnets and some laminated metal in there. And then you see this helical gear, so that's the uh, first, you know, main drive, whatever. And all of that is mounted inside here in the stator. There's a bearing, and you can see in the back, and some dirt and grit, which is, I think, where my problem is. I expected to find, I don't know if you can see it in there, but right here's the bearing. And there's a, uh, a nylon gear helical to match this. Now, uh, there's a little bit of play on, uh, on this side here, but I, I don't think that's my problem. As long as I keep slack out of it, I don't know what it was like when it was new, but there's a little bit of play there. I think my problem is coming. See all the dirt on that? I've actually cleaned it off a little bit. Well, see how well you can make this out. But uh, that pin there on the end would actually mount where it sits inside the bearing. It's a small groove down there. It's a similar one on this side. And uh, if you read about these, you read about people having problems with these these O-rings. There's two orange O-rings on the end of this that they will uh, wear out, fall off, deteriorate, dry up, whatever. And it seems that the one on this end seemed to wear down. I, I actually gouged out what was inside the groove. Uh, but it almost appears that the metal here actually it, it it wobbled itself around inside this bearing here. This bearing still spins freely, um, but it wore itself down about ten thousandths of an inch. There's a difference in the th diameter of that to the diameter of the one on this end, and actually just at the very base of this here, it's uh, it's it's ten thousandths of an inch larger. And the rest of it. So I'd say it's, it's wobbled itself out a little bit. Now what I'm going to do about it, I'm not sure. Um, it's a little too thin to try to attempt to shim it with anything. I don't know what to do other than to just throw another o-ring in there. And I'm not going to put just any o-ring in because it's just not going to last. Even if I get the right one from the manufacturer, a little orange o-ring, I don't think it's going to last. So I'm not exactly sure what to do at this point. Of course I can keep running it, but it's got awful loud and I think that the rotor is is uh, not running true inside the stator. And it's eventually going to just rip itself to pieces. So if I can come up with a solution now, that'd be the way to go. Because if I put an O-ring in there and it just crops out next week, it takes a while to rip this thing apart. It's not worth it. So. I need to find a solution here. So I'm going to call the e-bike store here in a little bit and see if they have any recommendations or parts. But uh, anyway, 2,000 miles and I'm having some problems. Anyway, if anybody has a solution, go ahead and uh, feel free to comment. Thank you.